Jetstar from Australia has concluded the calendar year on probably some of the worst terms we've seen, with a rather embarrassing flight to essentially nowhere, departing from Melbourne as JQ35, the scheduled flight operated by the 787 Dreamliner, was expected to fly to a popular destination, Bali, a routine service for the Australian carrier that is a part of the Qantas Group and acts as the low-cost branding. However, the plane never made it to Bali, but that's not without a lack of trying. The aircraft departed from Melbourne significantly later than its scheduled departure time, which did already throw off schedules. A delay, though, doesn't mean that the aircraft in question should incur any difficulties in getting to its destination, at least not what we saw in this case. As the Boeing 787 began to leave Australian shores, it turned right back around and headed back down to Melbourne, which if you know just how big Australia is, it's not quite the quick trek and was another lengthy journey back down to the origin point for the passengers on board. An actual flight that saw passengers waste hours and hours on an aircraft without getting to their end destinations, certainly one for the record books and something that certainly does not look good for airline at Jetstar. Attached is a screenshot of the flight plan, and this is with thanks to Flight Radar 24, highlighting, of course, the boomerang effect of the journey and the difficulties experienced, and just how far the aircraft travelled before it eventually turned around. Questions have arisen over how such a thing may be possible, especially when we consider that most technical issues that would result in the plane returning to its origin airport would have to occur relatively quickly, otherwise diversions would be put into place. In this case though, the aircraft did not divert to Darwin or even Adelaide, instead heading back down to its origin point of Melbourne. Essentially, the reasoning behind the incident and general embarrassment is that Jetstar, the airline operating the flight did not obtain the required approval or permission from authorities in Indonesia. The reasoning behind the permission being denied is thanks to the Australian airline swapping the aircraft from the routine A321 family to of course the much larger Boeing 787. Jetstar operate a host of aircraft but at the moment the 787 is the largest in their fleet. It offers them additional capacity so it's not hard to see why they may have preferred to send the 787 with with more seat capacity on such a popular route. However, it would seem in that process of switching the aircraft from the routine, much smaller, narrow body to the 787, well, the approval has just not come, and they sent away the flight without realising this. A Jetstar spokesperson issued the following statement for media, including myself. Unfortunately, due to a miscommunication, the swap to a larger aircraft had not been approved by the local regulator in Indonesia. As soon as we became aware, the flight returned to Melbourne, and we have rebooked passengers on a flight for later today. This was quite the journey, and no doubt quite the experience for the passengers on board, who overall witnessed a journey that could have taken them almost to Los Angeles, but instead, they were right back to where they originated, Melbourne, and not Bali. What are your thoughts on this rather unique flight and a pretty embarrassing scenario for Australian carrier Jetstar? Do let us know down below in the comment. Do let me know down below in the comments. I hope you're enjoying the final days of 2022. Do take care and do stay safe. I'll see you next time.